Oh, snaps. What up, everybody? Man. A little tired. Took me a little nap. That's about it. You know the craziest thing, man, as a collector? You know the craziest of all things? Oh, this guy. Look at that right there. See that right there? Look at that. Look at that. Look good, don't it? Look at that. Look at that right there. Ooh. See, Walmart had these available. And I ordered offline. Well, online, that's when I ordered. But I ended up ordering two of them. I had to cancel one. And then all of a sudden, I thought I canceled my order on Hasbro Post. So I got another one that's coming, which is crazy, because I'm a big, big Grimlock fan, and most people don't know that, which I'm kind of excited about it, getting two of them, because each time a Grimlock comes out, I end up getting two of them, and that's one of the favorite G1 characters that I, you know, I go to, because I like the Dinobots. Now, I was hoping if I can find Snarl in the wild. <clears throat> but I'm here in Minnesota where a certain group, a toy group, they have employees that work in the store. So the employees are getting the action figures. So my honest opinion on that is wild. But... Let me show y'all something else, too. Yes, I am a huge X-Men comic book collector. Have that one. I pick up those. We got that bad boy right there. I got her. Look at that. That's my girl right there. Y'all know about that. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for that. But yeah, I, you know, I try to get as many as I can. These are all collectors, by the way. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. What y'all know about that? So yeah, I try to pick up as many comics as I can. And I might have to go today to go pick up some more stuff. But yeah, this is what I do, folks. If I'm bored, I try to get out and go do stuff. But today was kind of weird, though. It felt like that was back in 1991. Today just feel like a time traveling Saturday. I woke up this morning. You know, it's like one of them days where you wake up, you want to watch cartoons, you want to sit down and have a bowl of cereal. I felt like that today. It was weird. So that's why you know, I posted something on Facebook saying, man, this reminds me of back home, back in the days. Because those this Saturday felt just like that. And I don't know if anybody else had that feeling. I know. But yeah, you know, if we go see at the comic book store, see they might have anything that's new. Because that's been on my list lately, like collecting X-Men comics and getting the X-Men figures and stuff like that. So that's one of the goals. You know, i just been getting Transformers figures too. And then I picked up this dude. He was on sale. He was like twenty nine ninety nine or something. But I got him too. But guess what? I got the masterpiece coming in the mail, folks. See, that's why I was saying the whole time. See, I picked this up because there's always a nemesis. You always pick up your nemesis primes. You always. Because 
you don't never know what you might be getting us a surprise. And the crazy part about it is that guy without getting a nemesis. Then feature of all, I went to my uh, um, hot comics and I found the Black Panther hot toys. And I'm gonna get that guy. I said I give it to two more weeks. I should have them in my collection. Because Hot Toys figures, what I do, I just put money down on them. And then they're going to finish up the payment because I'm so anxious to get it. And then they got the Amazing Spider-Man Hot Toys. So I'm hoping that if they can come up with a Scarlet Spider and Hot Toys. Because I've seen their regular figures. That figure go from 124 to $296. And I said, damn, why not get the Hot Toys version? Why is I spending money on scalper figures that are out here scalping people for a $300 little small 6 inch Marvel Legend figure when I can get a bigger version of the Scarlet Spider for $274? That is crazy. So, yeah, I just post some stuff to let y'all know that I will not stop collecting action figures. I will not stop collecting Transformers. Now, G.I. Joes I slowed down on because I'm I'm not big of a G.I. Joe fan unless it crosses over Transformers. That's when I like that crossover. But I do like G.I. Joe to a certain extent, but my biggest collecting is in Transformers and Marvel Legends. A couple of, you know, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games. So that's just my thing, because right now I'm getting ready to fix my credit so I can buy a house. I know I want to move back down south, which eventually is going to happen. Because the reason why I want a room dedicated to what the things I like to collect. And that's my dedication. Because that's why I slowed down on buying action figures. Because of the limited space that I have in my little rinky dink apartment. Yes, rinky dink apartments. My little, little collection. See that? And by the way, those are like, damn near like <laughs> four or five big totes. That's not including the extra four totes that I got in my bedroom. That's not including like, I got five closets full of stuff and totes. So, that's just my thing of me because I'm a realist. I don't sell anything. I don't scalp any figures. I don't, I don't do none of that stuff. Because I collect these things because of my nostalgia of my childhood memories. The stuff that I grew up with. So, that's just an ideal of who I am and what I'm about. But y'all have a good Saturday. Keep on collecting action figures. Because I'm going to hit up this comic book store before 7. So y'all have a good day, man. Peace out. Transformers Collectors Unite. Yes. I said it. Awesome day. Post your action figures, folks. Post what you buy. What your money can buy. Not what someone else tell you what they, sh what you, what they want you to buy. Because it's your money. You rule that. Peace out.